The Dart SS head has become a very popular option in the last year for a lot of the uh, limited classes uh, with either built or some type of quote-unquote concept uh, type, uh, type motors. Uh, with some of the dysfunction out there with supplying uh, cylinder heads. Uh, this is uh, an, a cylinder head that's uh, very well made and uh, the supply has been real consistent uh, over the last bunch of years. Probably the most consistent well made cast iron cylinder head out there uh, coming uh, from, from DART. Anyway, um, the two most popular cylinder heads are the 4267 which is the 20216 uh, uh, Dart SS head, the other one, uh, the 4360, which is the 194 version. There's a lot of different uh, part numbers for this particular head out there that organizations uh, require you to run. 194, uh, 15, anywhere from 67 cc's to um, 76 cc. So we do undercover porting into these. This is a 20216 application. We've got a terrific CNC program for these. Um, this is very similar to some of the other heads out there uh, performance wise compared to uh, the, the EQ350i. Uh, it's a better cylinder head torque wise. Uh, engine builders tell us uh, horsepower wise with a two barrel carb and the aluminum intake manifold and headers are virtually identical. And uh, this head again has become much more popular because it is available. And uh, the, the other cylinder heads, uh, 194, 15, and a variety of different uh, CCs are also popular. And what we wind up doing with a lot of these Dart heads, we touch on this in, in our, one of our previous videos, is we buy these heads from Dart without a valve job in them. So we can go 194, 202, whatever uh, we want. And a lot of these the organizations require you to run a 72 or a 76 cc head, but either they don't have a compression rule, or maybe they have a 175 pound cranking rule, or a nine or a 10 and a half to one rule, which means you're surfacing a 76 cc head down to 64 or 66 cc's, which makes no sense at all. In order to make these heads 76 cc's, especially in, in, in a 194 version, uh, they sink the valve jump. So we don't want the valve job sunk. So we start with this head that comes from us from DART without the valve job. We put our own valve job in it and it doesn't have a part number on it from DART. So we just go ahead and stamp a part number on it. Part number is just stamped on the end. So A, it gives you a better performing cylinder head because the valve seats aren't sunk. And instead of surfacing something a hundred thousands from 76 or 77 cc's down to 64, which is stupid, this head will take it, don't, don't get me wrong. But if you start with the 67cc version, you're only surfacing 20 or 30 thousandths off the cylinder head. So it saves a lot of time, a lot of money, and it, and it gives you a better performance if you can go about it that way. And to show how versatile this particular head is, uh, this is uh, one of the Dart SS heads with one of our disguise packages. Uh, this thing is, uh, it has the valve cover surface machine, and uh, we machine it on the, on the front for double humps. And this is another version of this particular head. This has 516 bronze guides in for road race application. Um, I know the road race guys used to run uh, the double hump heads, and now they're able to run uh, uh, a parallel cylinder head on these old 302, 327 uh, vintage applications. So uh, we have a, a, full, a CNC program that fully ports uh, this particular head to the 1205 size. And we still have a lot of hand work to do on, on these uh, when we're done, but uh, that's just how versatile this, this cylinder head is. So if your track does allow you to run uh, the Dart SS heads, I would strongly consider because it's the best cylinder head on the market right now.